Well, are you ready to face Qatar? Yes, I am, because I'm Taylor Tosa. I'm doing this Let's Play, and that's the objective of this episode. We don't even get a pre-match chat, we're just going out there. Welcome to another exciting second round match. Today sees Japan's Inazuma National face the Desert Lions of Qatar. How does this plucky Japanese side plan to overcome the tough physicality and tricky play of the Qatari youngsters, I wonder? With bribery, perhaps? No, it's a, it's a real scorcher of a day, so very, very hot. Which should affect stamina, ideally. He's not wrong, it's boiling. I'm sweating just standing here. No way, man. Back home, this would be like two on a scale of like loads. Don't sweat it, I won't be. But we're not all as big and tough as you. Early, I for one am a delicate flower of a boy. Deli what? Whatever, man. It is true, that's a direct reference to Hurley being the only character with a tan on the team. I salam you, I like you. <laughs> Let's take this letter by letter. I salam you, I like you. <laughs> Peace be upon you, Captain Evans. Ah, where did you spring from? I am honoured to make your acquaintance. I am Bilal Khalil. Captain of the Qatari squad, I pray that our match today passes without unfortunate incident. May fortune smile upon you until we meet again. Ma salama. I also hope that the entire Qatar World Cup passes without unfortunate incident. But you know, this is the fictional world, so we're okay to trust them, I think. What's wrong with you, Scotty? Come on, hurry. Wow, there wasn't a drop of sweat on him. How come? It's flipping boiling. And we need to actually walk to Sylvia. Although this is the first chance to actually free roam around the stadium. There's no music, there's nothing in particular to see, like there's no treasure chests or anything. So we'll just talk to her. Let's get started with the Qatar match. That's your starting lineup. Hobbs, Stonewall, you're on the bench again. Be ready to go on at any time, you two. Yes, coach. Bah, again? Thanks so much for bringing <laughs> me along, Coach Hillman. My pleasure. I heard you were shutting up shop for the occasion, so it seemed a shame for you to have to watch it all on television. But is Austin going to be okay? What with me keeping him from practicing properly and everything? He'll have to be. He might well end up being the difference between them winning and losing out there today. So that's the only restriction. We can't have Caleb or Stonewall. That's the same character. Yeah, um, Jude, you're coming on. Because, you know, you are the team's playmaker anyway. You're quite important. Can't have Stonewall on. And you can't have Austin on. So let's have a look at the bios of the Desert Lions as the cool music kicks in. That's my formation I'm going with. I still want to have Mark on the pitch, but not in goal because I prefer Darren. There is their goalkeeper, Nazir Mustafa. I don't think there's any particular puns in their names. They're just Qatari names, unlike the the Desert Lions. I love this guy though. He, this player dreams of a world which is not dependent on fossil fuels. Like, I'm, I'm glad you have big dreams out there, mate. This guy's hair is the Qatari flag. That's a good design. But I especially like this guy. This player is concerned that his country's economy is dependent on oil exports. 
That's one of the most boring descriptions you could ever think of, and that's precisely why I used him on my team when I actually played Team Ogre Attacks for the sakes of fun. All who stand in our way must be swept aside. Yalla! Right, well this was our kickoff, and we've just immediately lost it. Thanks, lads. How about we just take it straight back off you then? No, that's a foul, but the other one wasn't, was it? Willie even said it looked like rough housing. Oh god, they're going for goal. <laughs> let's uh, let's slow that down a bit. But yeah, that that player, I just became very attached to him. I gave him a move which I found in a treasure chest, which was actually the signature defensive move of Genesis, where he just crushes someone with a planet, and it was very funny. Unfortunately, despite Jordan mentioning a new special move in the last episode, he hasn't actually got it yet, nor does he get it anywhere during this match. That I don't really understand, but no, Jordan is the same as ever, and as such, his shot has been stopped by Storm Rider. How disappointing. But yeah, so Qatar, it has that player who became pretty much my signature defender because there aren't too many defenders on in Azuma National. I wanted to make use of him and maybe, just maybe, I'll try and find another player from the Desert Lions to use on this occasion. I don't want to have too many optional players because, you know, every character on this team has some element of story focus. But are we going to go with... Oh, direct shot. You're not stopping this, mate. Except... In the anime, Sean took a shot with Legendary Wolf, and they did actually stop it. So, that's not completely accurate. But even still, he might stop it. No, he didn't. Of course he didn't. Let's go, we're in the lead. So, I've kind of mentioned Qatar and the whole 2022 World Cup controversy throughout the last few episodes but I want to actually say how what a nice random choice it was to have the second match in this game be against Qatar because if I'm not mistaken when this game first came out in 2010 in Japan I don't think the Qatar World Cup was actually confirmed at that point I think they just picked Qatar out of nowhere and we've all lost some FP because we're getting worn down. That's a, that's the gimmick of this match, I suppose. I make it sound like every match is going to have a gimmick. That's not really the case. They're going for goal. Let's go with Moog in the hand just to make sure. Because Mirage Shot could well be pretty strong. Looks nice. Don't get to see that very often. Where uh, do we need to bother with the wall? Nah, I'll give it a fair contest. We're solid. <laughs> Things are getting interesting. But yeah, at the time of this game coming out in Japan, Qatar had never qualified for a World Cup. They'd never even done well in the Africa Cup of Nations before. That's, they just... They just kind of... Uh, they, they just were a country that had a team and that was it. But Inazuma decided to make a personality out of them. And you do actually play them. And what more, to get to this point in the tournament, they had to beat Thailand, which again isn't renowned for football, but it's a more, more well-known country in general. But Qatar is the one they decided to go with, so I think that's a pretty interesting choice. But we're pretty much closing in on the end of the first half now. Scott Banyan's about face wasn't a foul for a change. They're all moving much more slowly. It must be the heat. Ha, heat. To we desert dwellers, this is nothing. Voila, the temperature is just reaching the perfect level. We have trained our bodies to withstand all. Our stamina is without limit. This is our greatest weapon. 
hotter, make it hotter, scorch the land. May there be a dies, a rise to a desert to engulf these foolish wanderers. Well, that's what all that rough play was for. They were trying to wear us down. Time for a change. Hobbs, are you ready? Me? Um, yes, coach. Still no love for the stone wall. Whatever. We're counting on you, Austin. Yes, Captain. So we're going to do exactly that. I've already used Sean Frost's shooting move, so we're going to take him off and put Austin Hobbs straight in the forward position. And they're also reminding us that we can use healing items in the middle of the match. It does make sense to introduce it here, because every player automatically lost some TP. But Austin Hobbs straight away up to the goal. Do it, Austin. Send it home. Your ball? What? What's he playing at? Are you blind? The goal's right in front of you, you idiot! <laughs> Thank you, Fred. Shukran! No, the desert line pinched it! Hobbs, what are you doing? It was right there on a plate. Why didn't you shoot? I... I thought you had a better chance at it, Axel. And besides, I can't score. What are you talking about? Oh, Austin, you're not worried about that, are you? You need to see this boy. He's an absolute natural. That's what they told me. Every match he plays in, they win by a ridiculous margin. And they weren't exaggerating. No, he would get the ball. And before you knew it, he'd have scored another goal. But he was so good that it made his teammates feel that all their hard work was for nothing. Football's no fun with you around. And eventually they refused to play with him anymore. He's been petrified of scoring ever since. He'll be right in front of an open goal and just pass it to another teammate rather than risk becoming an outcast again. But he doesn't realise that he's holding himself back. He's a naturally gifted player. He should want to show people how good he is. Well, we can't help him with that. Hmm? He needs an incredible team around him for his talent to be appreciated. And he's got exactly that. He just hasn't realized it yet. Austin, what do you think you're doing? Well, what? I'm trying to get the ball to my teammates so they can score. That's what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? And if I do that, I'm not treading on anyone's toes and spoiling their fun. You're not serious? Huh? What on earth are you doing worrying about whether or not people are having fun? You're a member of the Japanese national squad and you're playing in the World Championship qualifiers. We're here to prove that we're the best in the world, not to have fun, and don't you forget it. He's right, Austin. If every single one of us isn't doing our absolute best, we'll never win. You have to have faith in your teammates. My... Concentrate on playing the game. Don't worry about us. We can take anything you throw at us. And more. Mark, no one on this team is going to be upset or jealous at you playing great football. So show us what you've got. You really mean it. You might be in for a shock. Huh. You'll have a hard time surprising us, Austin. All right, then. You're on. Everybody, get the ball to Austin. And keep up the good work. And so finally, Austin will actually be able to take a shot on goal in the middle of the match. And that's a pretty interesting motive. You know, I'm sure some gamers can, can relate to that mentality. For example, if you like Super Smash Brothers, you might want to play it with your friends, but then you got... A little too good at it, and then you outclassed them and they stopped having fun. And let's go, Tiger Drive! I won't hold back anymore! Watch this shot! Hear me roar! Tiger Drive! Ah, 
That's more like it. You know what he could do, didn't you, coach? That's why you waited until now to send him on. <laughs> A stroke of tactical genius, if I may say so. The Qatari players have excellent staying power, but they are not superhuman. So that's what was behind all the stamina training. We needed to have enough to wear them down in the first half. Then we bring Lostin in the second, and bam! He runs rings around them. I like it. Every player has their strengths. If we exploit them to the maximum, we win. If we don't look at the team as a whole and bring those strengths to bear at exactly the right moment, we lose. If we fail to use every ounce of strength at our disposal to maximum effect, we don't make the finals. It's that simple. <laughs> and so now we're back into free roaming gameplay. So unlike the last match where the, the opponent got an automatic goal on us, here, Tiger Drive scores a definite goal as long as you can get Austin to the front, but I believe you will need to score with Austin at some point. Otherwise, you won't really meet all the conditions. But yeah, so the gimmick here is that Qatar have been playing rough in order to lower your stamina in this scorching heat, and because they live in a, a, desert, a desert country, they're used to the heat, and so they're not affected by it. And I really like that Inazuma brings that issue up because that is exactly the issue that people are going to be complaining about in 2022. It's going to be so hot that the World Cup can't even be hosted in, in the summer like it normally is. Otherwise, Qatar would just simply be too hot for, for foreigners to bear. If you're going to fire up, I'm going to fire up. I really like the music for these matches, so I don't fire up unless I absolutely have to. Let's just go for another goal with Austin Hobbs so that we can actually we can see his actual animation. Never mind, they're going to take the ball from us, which is fair. But I'll try and go for an, a Tiger Drive at some point so you can see what it's meant to look like, not just an anime cutscene. But that also allows me to... I was pretty much saying that I like this match. I really do. And I also like it in the anime for different reasons. You see... There is a bit of an Inazuma trope in the anime where most of the time the opponent will score the first goal and Inazuma, Inazuma National has to play catch up for most of the match. And it makes sense story wise to do it that way, but it gets a little tiresome to see Inazuma always being on the top, on the back foot. Sometimes they'll level the score and then even things out again. But then it'll be the opponents who score after that. This is Tiger Drive. Proper black background. Stick that on Photoshop and you've got a you've got a transparent animation. Simple as. But um Yeah, so what's refreshing about the Qatar match in the anime is that the writers realized a team based in Qatar in the second round of the regional qualifiers, yeah, they're not going to be that much of a challenge. So unlike most other matches in the season, I really need to take Axel off the pitch. Just after in the last episode, I was calling the stamina stat useless. This was a forced stamina loss. You can forgive me for that. But um, so what they do in the anime is that actually, straight away after one failed shot from Sean, they give the ball to Nathan in a corner kick. So, you, you, you don't see corners in the anime in the first place. But two episodes ago, I picked up an item called Banana Shot, which was listed as a special tactic. But it actually works as a shooting move. If in the rare circumstance you are in a... You get to take a corner kick in a match, you can use Banana Shot to go straight for the goal with a curving shot, which counts as a special move, and it might just overpower the goalkeeper. And that's how they got the first goal in the anime. And then, it was still in the first half, Xavier follows it up by scoring with Meteor Blade. So Inazuma are actually winning this one 2-0. Yes, Qatar eventually level the scores in the last minutes of the match, because the whole tiredness gimmick. 
sets in, but then Inazuma takes it 3-2 in the end. But, you know, it's like the two goals from Qatar, not only did they come very last minute, they weren't even special moves. They actually used tricky playmaking, like the, the striker did a fake out to make Mark believe he was going for a shot, then he passed it to someone else and just nudged it in the net. So that match just does a lot of stuff you don't otherwise see in the anime. Inazuma National dominating a match and shots that weren't special moves. But that's full time and we have beaten the Desert Lions 6-0. We won! We won! Impossible! How could the mighty lions of the desert have been defeated? Ha! Huh, because you didn't count on coming up against the tiger! You put up one heck of a fight though! 6 nil and all that! <laughs> Don't worry about it! And Kane has got whale guard, so finally he's actually got a defensive move as a defender. Birthday bumps. <laughs> no, stop that. Was that your absolute best? It was good, but you still got some catching up to do. But I ha, that was nothing. Huh. I'm gonna win the next one for us too. Then it's next stop FFI finals. It's like he's a different person. Seems like the real you is a bit of a handful, Austin. Well, I for one am very glad to meet him. But if you're such a good player, how come we never saw you in the football frontier? Because I'm not allowed, stupid. Eh? How come? Well, I'm only 11, aren't I? Eh? Uh, 11? Y you mean you're still at primary school? Well, that explains it. The football frontier is a competition for junior high school students, as we all know. But the FFI is open to all players under 15 years of age. Intriguing. You're still at primary school? Also, that means Millie Moonlight's eligible for this tournament. Yeah, but don't let that fool you into thinking your top striker spot is safe. I'm going to be even better than you one of these days, Axel. Hmm. Looks like you've got a promising new protégé. It does. This was a great match, you know? And it seems the problem you mentioned has been solved. It has. Austin Hobbs has learned to trust his teammates and himself, and play his best. Now, he'll go from strength to strength. This is all very interesting, but I cannot concentrate. Japan is so very hot. Come, let us buy a gelato. Heavens, your team is turning out to be a very interesting one indeed. And Brazil's the kingdom romped through to the FFI finals. Macrobingo has led his team to yet another stunning victory here today. This young lad is surely destined to be one of the greats. Wahoo! It's refreshing to see a team so clearly enjoying every minute of their time out there on the field. Mac. Kerry, Mac, you are so cool out there today. Bingo, you are a shining star! Long live the Gold King! So back, the World Finals, and our new coach is set to join soon, no? See, si, he is, and I for one cannot wait to meet him!
So let's have a word with the player who without a doubt, these made qualifying rounds for the US team. <sighs> Sorry. Eric, incredible performance. If anyone's wondering why they call you the midfield magician, sure isn't wondering anymore. You and Bobby have come back and injected the final drop of magic into a team that's looking to be a real contender for the title. Thanks. Heh. <laughs> so it's time to start thinking about the finals. Are there any players or teams out there you're particularly worried about? Sure, I guess our biggest rivals out there would have to be our old teammates on the Japanese squad. You really think they're good enough to give us trouble, huh? Then I can't wait to show them who's boss. Oh, you got your chance. There's no way these guys aren't making it through. Looks like we got there just ahead of you, Mark. See you in the finals. Next step, the final of the Asian qualifiers. And if we win that, we're up to the world finals. Oh, it's like a dream. What's that sound? This sensation. I felt it somewhere before. Stage! <laughs> 